Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj Khos, Director for Tutormash.com. In this video, we will see how to create a steel truss using linear method. In my previous video, that is workflow of StatPro, I have explained the first thing that you have to create in StatPro is to create a geometry, create a model. Now in this slide, I am explaining you to create a model, there are three methods, snap node method, coordinate method and structural wizard. Under snap node method, we have again three methods, that is linear grid, radial grid and irregular grid. In this video, we will see how to create a model using linear grid method. So I have come up with an example. We'll do this example in StatPro. Look at this steel truss which is of having length of 50 meter and height of 10 meter. Right? To create this steel truss in StatPro, you need a reference grid. Behind this steel truss, you can see a reference grid which is of having dotted lines. This is what we call as reference grid. And we need to create this grid first in order to draw the structural steel truss. In StatPro, all the structural elements are created using nodes and members. This join portion is what we call as nodes and the connecting part is what we call as members. And here you can see the grid is starting from here and the coordinates of this point is 0, 0, 0 or we call as grid origin. And if you look at this grid, you can see it is drawn in X, Y plane, right? It is drawn in X, Y plane and number of divisions in X axis. If you count number of divisions in X axis, you can see there is one division, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten divisions in X axis and in Y axis there is one, two, three, four, five. Number of divisions in Y axis is five and the spacing between each division is 5 meter in x axis you can see it's 5 meter in x axis and in y axis the division is 2 meter right so this is the properties of the reference grid now we will see how to create this reference grid and how to create this steel truss in statpro just watch this is the initial screen of StatPro. You can start with new project, space, file name is truss, and the length unit is meter, force unit is kilonewton. Press next, add beam, finish. Right? This is the startup screen of StatPro and in the right side you can see there is a window called snap node per beam. In some pieces you cannot find this window. So to activate this window you need to go to geometry, go to snap grid node and click on beam. Right? Now you'll get the same window again. To create a new reference grid you have to always go to create. And you need to choose linear, radial or irregular. So now we will see linear. Enter the name of the grid. Trust reference grid. Right. And the plane is XY plane. We already seen in the exercise the plane is XY. This grid we require in XY plane. Always keep your eyes in global axis so you will get better understanding. Right. So we choose plane XY and there is another option called as angle of plane and here program is asking to set a value in Y, Y axis. Just imagine if I try to fix this Y axis then I can rotate this reference grid in clockwise direction into 360 degrees. Now here program is asking if you want to change the position of the grid you can enter an angle there so that grid position will change accordingly. Currently there is no rotation in the grid that is why I am giving it as zero. Now program is asking the grid origin. Look at the grid origin and the value of x, y, z axis is zero, zero, zero. That is the reason I have entered 000 in XYZ values. 
If you don't know the coordinates of the grid origin, then you can select this arrow and choose the grid origin automatically. Right? So that is grid origin function. And the next one is construction lines spacing. So here we have x axis and y axis, left, right, meter, and skew degree. Let's see what are they. x axis left is 0, right is 10. Now I'll make you understand what it means. Program is asking you whether you are drawing grid in right side of the grid origin or the left side of the grid origin. So we are drawing the grid in the right side of grid origin. So we are giving left as zero and right value program is asking how many divisions are there in right side. So we have already calculated number of divisions in x axis is 10. So you can enter the value 10. Now program is asking you the spacing between each division. So we have calculated it as 5 meter. You can enter 5 then come to y axis. Look at the y axis and same you have to enter how many divisions are there in y axis. We have 5 divisions in y axis. Enter the value 5 and the spacing between each division is 2 meter. So you can enter 2 and if you want to rotate in any of this axis you can enter the value here so it will rotate accordingly. So currently I don't want to rotate so that's why the reason the value is 0 and press OK. Once you created a linear grid that will appear here and just check this box to activate it. Now you can see your grid is created. Same like our exercise. Right? Now let's see how to create this steel truss. Watch carefully. Once you're done, you can click on snap node beam. And you can see your mouse is tracking the joints of your reference grid. You can start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 and press escape to come out from the snapping and again press snap node beam start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 press escape again press snap node beam start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 again click snap node beam 1, 2, press escape, snap node beam, 1, 2, and continue. Alright, now we need to draw the diagonal channels. Same procedure, click snap node beam, start from here. Alright, so we have done with creating the steel truss. If you want to see it from the front view, you can use this view button. This is front view. And if you want to remove the reference grid from here, you can close this window. Right now your truss is ready. You can press shift plus N to display the node numbers and shift plus B to appear the beam numbers. This is isometric view. And you can see the node numbers and beam numbers as well. And if you place your cursor over any of this beam, you can see three colors, green, red and violet. Green is start of the beam, red is middle of the beam and violet is end of the beam. Right? So that's how we create a model using linear method. So that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedbacks and for more videos, please log in to www.tutormatch.com. Thank you.